Win. This is Yummy Mommy. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching a video, my god, guys, I've just started the video and I'm sweating. I am sweating. By the end, we shall be drenched. We shall be under the sea. But anyway, um, if this is your first time watching any video from me, I am Yummy Mommy. I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle and parenting and literally anything to do with being a woman, I guess. Um, I hope you watch this video to the end and I hope you watch all my other videos and eventually subscribe to my channel. If this is not your first time watching any of my videos and you're not yet subscribed i would like you to know that i'm disappointed in you anyway thank you guys for clicking on this video i'm going to try and like talk fast but also like slowly because i literally am out of breath even just from doing this intro you guys i'm literally out of breath i am now four days to giving birth because i'm giving birth on sunday via elective cesarean section is it today sir? wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday yes in four days in four days i shall see my little girl and i can't wait i'm honestly really really excited um but i had promised you guys that i would show you what's in my hospital bag i was initially going to combine this video with the nursery tour video but unfortunately i have not been able to do that because i have had a small hitch with my nursery i'm trying to find the perfect carpet for the nursery which is just going to tie the whole room together and i haven't been able to find it so i keep saying okay i'm gonna find it tomorrow and i shoot the video tomorrow i'm gonna find it the next day shoot the video the next day but it's honestly been a nightmare so i'm really hoping that today after i shoot this video and this is currently wednesday morning i hope that i'm going to be able to actually find the carpet so that i can shoot that video for you tomorrow so you can see what the nursery looks like but today i just wanted to show you guys what's in my hospital bag um just in case there's any mamas out there who are about to give birth and you're wondering what to pack um these things i basically um they are like little things that I got from other people. I've watched so many What's in My Hospital Bag videos. So I got some stuff from other people. And then just stuff that I just thought I would need. Because remember, I'm a third time mom. So it's not like this is my... This is not my first rodeo. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. So I know the things that I'll actually need. And I know the things that last time I carried. And I was like, I didn't even use that. And then I remember the stuff which I wish I had carried. Even though technically the hospital I'm giving birth in, which is Nairobi Hospital, it's not that far from my house. So if I forget anything, my sister or my husband can quickly come and get it. But I also don't want... Want to leave anything at home so yeah i'm gonna show you the stuff that i'm going to have put in my hospital bag i've divided them into my stuff baby's stuff <laughs> so that it's easy for me to be able to show you so let's get into it <laughs> packing my stuff in is this cute bag that i got from um a, an instagram page called j designs for they sent it to me i think like over a year and a half ago but it's been so amazing it's just leather and like some ankara here it's the perfect size because you need something like not as big as a suitcase but not as small as a backpack if that makes sense so like this was the perfect size for me so this is what i'm carrying this is what i'm putting the stuff i'm gonna show you in but besides that I'm also going to carry my handbag, which looks very similar actually to that bag. I was, um, I bought this actually from an Instagram page called Nisisi Factory, the Nisisi Factory. I'll leave the Instagram pages in the description box or in the, yeah, in the description box in case you want to get any of these things. I love this bag. They are both quite big. So like some of the stuff is going to go into the main bag, which is like the most of the stuff. Then this will be like the small things like my charger and like power bank and things like that. Oh, before I continue guys, how cute is this hair? I mean, what lace? What lace? This was given to me as a push present from Human Hair Center. Guys, they're just the best. Oh, sorry, I dropped some breast pads. Anyway, this was given to, gifted to me by Human Hair. Ah! This was gifted to me by um, Human Hair Center. I really love it. It's allowed my hair to breathe the past like one week because I'm planning to braid it tomorrow. So I just have like some lazo lines underneath, but it's been really nice and I think I look really cute. I really like it. And this lipstick is Boss Lady from Canvas Cosmetics because there's always somebody who's asking in the comments. Anyway, 
let's get into it let me show you the stuff that i am carrying if you haven't already deduced from what i showed you guys at the uh, before this um so the first thing is clothes for leaving the hospital what i have carried here is like a dira this is just a normal long dira which has a zip here you can get them in isli that's like the most comfortable thing to leave the hospital in because you just need something free you've just had an operation you don't need something shikiliang you so i have that and then i have another one which is just basically it's just a backup one like i don't know in case anything happens i just like carrying backup things it's just it's a long um cotton stretch dress that i got from um I think LCY Kiki, but these are just for leaving the hospital. That's the most important thing because most hospitals, um, and I know Nairobi Hospital for sure, they don't let you wear your own clothes when you're in hospital. But when you're leaving, obviously, you'll need the clothes for leaving. Um, another thing I've carried is my own slippers. Huh? My own slippers, um, just for use there because these are really comfortable. I don't know what kind of slippers they're going to give us there. Um, but these are my own. I think I got these in butter, if I'm not wrong. No, Mr. Price. Mr. Price. And I think they were like 500 bob or something. I really love them. Really comfortable. Um, the next thing I've carried is pajamas. Now, <laughs> I have this idea that when the baby is born, I might get a photographer to come and take some nice pictures of me and the baby or me, the baby and Zach. So I thought to buy a really nice satin like pajama just in case that I get that person. And then I have another super simple cotton one for the night before I give birth. Because um, I don't know, in case I have visitors or like the day I have visitors, I just want to be able to like just kind of look nice. So I've carried these. I don't know if they let me wear them, but I want to have them just in case. I got these from um, Mavazi at Tmall. They were both, I think like around a thousand shillings if I'm not wrong. Um, next thing I have carried, which is like one of the most important thing, guys, is nursing bras. Let me tell you, last time I didn't carry nursing bras and I really regretted it because the whole time people kept coming to visit me, my boobs were just flopped under my hospital gown and like it was just leaking. It was such a mess. Such a mess. Um, but yeah, so I've carried three nursing bras. You know, when you give birth via CS, you stay in the hospital four days. So, um, I have carried three nursing bras just in case any of them get messed up. And then I have also carried really nice huge granny andies because guys after cs you don't want anything in your tummy guys look at these panties they are enormous they are so big they're so big yeah so i've carried i think four of these uh, yeah four of these for each of the days that i'm going to be there those are like the most important like if you forget everything else do not forget your huge underwear or else you'll have a pad just hanging dangling somewhere between your legs and do not forget your nursing bras um the next thing i have carried which is also super important are maternity pads these are called all time and i hear i've never used them before but i've been told by my fam on instagram Ooh. something keeps falling anyway i've been told by the people on instagram that these are the best there's some other ones that they usually give you in the hospital called medicot those do not work they are such a sham by the way please carry your own because those ones they don't have like wings to fold under your underwear so they like keep falling out like they keep going to the side and there's quite a lot of bleeding that happens in the days immediately after you give birth so these are fantastic i've carried two packs each has 10 i think and i hear they're super super absorbent so these are super important the next thing also super important is breast pads breast pads guys are these going to focus yes breast pads the brand is i think lancino if i'm not wrong but i have carried i had to take them out of the packet because i only wanted to carry like 12 i think they're 12 um just in case i need them there are some women who their milk comes in immediately after they give birth for my last two pregnancies that was me like literally i came out of my cs and milk was pouring from my boobs there's some people who it takes like two three four days but i've carried like 12 pads just in case you know like i'm um, flowing like the river jordan um next thing i've carried is this cute toiletry bag guys i got this from um miniso i believe it was about 600 or 700 bob i just thought it was so cute it's a watermelon i love watermelon so fantastic and inside i'm not gonna remove all the things but basically it has my toiletries in there this is like a kitamba for my hair this is a bathing scrunchie it has um hand sanitizer it has mafuta lip balm it has um wet wipes it has soap um it has um spray like deodorant so just my little toiletries toiletries are really really super important because obviously you're gonna need to clean yourself sis you're gonna need to clean yourself okay um and then for me the stuff is almost done <laughs> um and then let me tell you what i've carried 
I've carried a few snacks. Now hear me out. I know it sounds ridiculous to carry snacks to a hospital, but I remember last time there were sometimes they were giving me things that I really just didn't feel like eating and I didn't feel like having, especially before I gave no after I gave birth, like immediately afterwards, there's some things that I just did not want in my mouth. So I've decided to carry some um some few drinks and some few snacks. So I've carried flavored water. These are my favorite flavored waters. This is the pineapple one, and this is strawberry. These are aqua mist. You can get them basically at any convenience store at any um supermarket. I've I've bought two of each, and then I have granola bars. I don't know what brand this is. I literally just picked whichever i found but i carried four um granola bars these are just for like energy you know as you start breastfeeding or even as you're getting visitors and stuff sometimes you just need energy so i've carried that and then i've also carried lactation tea i don't know why i just feel like i actually it's angie my sister who told me i should carry this i don't know why i feel like i just might need it so i've carried this lactation tea it's from lactacare kenya they are fantastic they help you with the milk so just in case like the milk doesn't start flowing immediately i want to have that on hand and then this is what had fallen earlier this is just shower gel because um the soap i showed you which is in my toiletry bag is for my face this is just for my body zach got me this as a gift recently it's luscious touch um shower gel aromatherapy love if you have ever given bath via CS, you know how like the first shower or like the first bath that you take immediately after you give bath can be so excruciating and just so unpleasant. And so, I mean, having something like this, I just feel will make this the situation slightly more pleasant. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But that's it. But yeah, those are all the things that I have carried for me. This is um <laughs> the last thing that I have carried, and this is something that your doctor gives you before you get to the hospital like you need to have um what is called ah what is it a letter from the insurance like a pre-authorization form from your insurance if you're paying via insurance which we already got and then your admission letter from the doctor that's right here um and then the booking letter from the hospital i went and i went did my booking yesterday it's so last minute they usually say you should do it at 35 weeks but here i am at 38 weeks having just done it um but the point is that it's done so this needs to go in my hospital bag because i can't risk um forgetting it otherwise someone will need to um come back for it but yeah that is all the stuff that I have packed for me now over on this side I show you the stuff for the new incoming member of the Muni family um, so let me show you what I have for her so let me start with the big thing so I have um, a swaddling blanket for the whole time that the baby is in the hospital they basically have to wear the hospital clothes and that's really for a security um, reason because anyone can like walk out with a baby who was just born and just be like oh yeah this is my baby because you know they are in home clothes so while they're there they will wear the hospital clothes but when we're leaving you're gonna need like the stuff to cover the baby and the stuff for the baby to wear so I have this really really cute blanket it's like a, um, I don't know why it's not focusing, but it's a really beautiful light gray with some teddy bears. I got this from Woolworths for, I think, 1,100. And then um, two swaddling sheets. <laughs> there we are. Some really cute swaddling sheets. These are for when we're leaving the hospital. I'll probably just need one sheet, but I am carrying extra because I'm extra. <laughs> um, then I have... Um, a Macintosh for changing the baby. This is just an ordinary Macintosh, you know, like for like when the baby has pooped or something like that. I remember last time thinking because I kept changing the baby on my actual bed. The, the hospital gives you diapers and things like that to change, but they don't give you a Macintosh. And I remember thinking, I wish I had a Macintosh. So this time I have carried a Macintosh. Um, next thing I have is clothes for the baby to leave the hospital with. I have these really cute um, onesies which I got from Woolworths. I don't know if it's gonna focus yes really really cute onesies I only will probably need one but of course I'm carrying two just in case um, I've also carried um, these inside I don't know what they're called but like these things which you put inside the um, the onesie I think it's also called a onesie is it I don't know I don't know guys I don't know um, so I've carried those two and then I've carried some little just bab cloths these are just those cloths why does it look hazy yes so I have carried some burp cloths. This is just in case, you know, as we are trying to breastfeed or as I'm feeding the baby with a bottle or whatever is going to happen. Um, these are for just ensuring that she remains clean all through. Um, I've also carried some Huggies um, wet wipes, pure wet wipes. Yay, that's what I'm planning to use. And some diapers. As I said, they are going to give us diapers there, but I just want to be prepared just in case. I don't know, just in case. I'll have some little Huggies diapers, size 2. 
which I think is okay, so obviously not the smallest size, but size one I think is for premature babies. So I've carried size two. Um, I have also carried um Sheer Organics. Sheer Organics is a brand I absolutely love. I use this oil on Ethan and Mukeni and it completely took away their eczema. With this baby, I don't want to start risking getting the eczema in the first place. So I've gotten um these. Can it focus? Can it focus? Can it focus? Yes, that is the brand. And this is their shea and mango butter. This is what I plan to use. This and like just natural oils like coconut oil, um, almond oil, things like that. Ah, oh, this stuff smells so good. This is what Mukeni uses currently. So I want to use this on the baby as well. And then um, the last two items are, oh, this is actually for me. It's not for the baby. This is nipple cream. Because if you have ever um, begun the breastfeeding journey, you know it can be really difficult. There we are. It's Lancino nipple cream. So this is to help me just in case my nipples crack or they get sore or anything. Last time they did while I was in the hospital, literally on day one. You know, going from just being a normal boobed person to suddenly somebody is just on your boobs. Obviously something is going to happen. So obviously you need that. Very important. Please do not forget this. And the last thing I've carried for the baby is um, pacifiers. Please don't give me comments in the um, comment section about pacifiers and how they're not good and how what. Please, I have raised my three kids, my two other kids on pacifiers and we shall be using them with this one. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that is literally all that I would be carrying for my baby in my hospital bag. I had actually already packed it. I've just unpacked the stuff so I can show you guys what's in there. But I feel pretty prepared. So in my handbag, what I'm going to put is just like the small, small things. Like I haven't put my shower cap. I haven't put my sleeping bonnet. I haven't put um, things like my charger, my power bank. Um, I think those are the most important things. The only things that I have actually left. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to put in my handbag and any other two small, small things that I find that I actually need. Um, but I feel really prepared. I feel really, really excited. Um, between tomorrow and Saturday, I'm going to spend time just getting ready for the baby. I have like a money pedi planned. I'm going to need to go braid my hair. I'm going to need to go wax and I will probably do another video showing you how I'm grooming myself for a CS. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments section if there's anything else you think I should carry that you think I have forgotten although I doubt it because you know I've done this three times um, but yeah let me know or if there's any questions about anything that I've carried or anything that you want to know please do let me know thank you so much for watching this video follow me on instagram at yamimami.ke if you want to follow minute by minute updates on what's happening between now and Sunday and even thereafter as well and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I really appreciate you guys and I love you until next time it's been yummy mommy bye